So you want to become a game developer, but you don't know what the best programming language is to learn to get to where you want to go. Well, it's very easy. The answer is C++. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so I am oversimplifying that a little bit. What programming language is best for game development is kind of an open question. C++ is definitely the majority answer in the industry, but there are cases that can be made for other languages. In this video, I'm going to break down some of those and talk about what the best languages are to learn, what the best languages are that, if you've never programmed before a day in your life, the ones you should start on. I'm going to go over some scripting languages you could learn, and I'm going to have some honourable mentions depending on different types of game development. So let's talk a little bit about why C++ is the most widely used language in the gaming industry, and why it has been for so long. The answer is really simple, it's a super speedy language. C++ is an extremely optimised language, and if used properly can yield great results in terms of performance. For the most part, it doesn't perform as much validation as other languages, and that kind of what leads it to be so fast, and it also is what makes it more of a dangerous language. For that reason, if you've never programmed before, I would highly recommend that you do not, and let me repeat that, you do not learn C++ as your first programming language. I'll go into this in a bit more detail in the next section of the video, but there are definitely better gaming languages that will help you learn how to program if you're a beginner. For those of you watching who don't have much experience in C++, but you do know how to program, I cannot recommend that you start learning C++ enough. If you plan on working for AAA or you want to work on consoles, then C++ is an absolute must. 90% of the jobs you're going to apply for as a game dev are going to require some form of C++ knowledge, and for the foreseeable future, I can't see that changing. Rust may eventually come into play, but it's not quite there yet. The present is still very much C++, and as a side note, if you don't know anything about Rust as a programming language, go look it up. It's a great language. So what if you've never programmed before, or you just kind of want to learn something a little bit different than C++? Well, let me recommend C Sharp. C Sharp is a really great introductory language, and it's the one that I first learned when I began programming. It's really good at teaching you the very basics of programming. It's a very object-orientated language, so it is such a good stepping stone to getting to the more advanced stuff like C++. It's also been widely adopted through Unity, so C Sharp isn't a bad language to have in your repertoire because it opens more job offers to you. You know, there's so many people looking out, out there looking for Unity developers, so if you know C Sharp and you can program in Unity, that's a great step up. That's a great thing to have on your CV. It's also not that big a leap from that to C++. There are a little few nuanced differences, and C++ is tougher to learn, but C Sharp will get you a lot of the fundamentals there very quickly, and is definitely beneficial. The other thing that's going to be useful to you if you want to be a game developer is you should learn a scripting language. Now, you don't necessarily have to pick the best one, because scripting languages are fairly easy to pick up. Um, most people are... A widely used one I've seen so far is Lua, and I do want to say, I want to caveat this, Lua is a language that isn't really dying, but is definitely not the future of the gaming industry, but it is a really useful and easy language to pick up, and I would, what I'm trying to say here is, learn a scripting language, but don't learn it to learn the language, learn it so you know how to script. You don't have to use Lua, you could use Unity and then just use C-sharp scripting, or whatever the other option is in Unity, I can't remember off the top of my head. Scripting is used widely in games, mainly for things like UI and animation, but once you've learned one, like I've never had, ever since I learned Lua, I've never really had a problem picking up any other scripting language. So if this is more of just a recommendation that go out and try and learn some kind of scripting language. And now I'm going to end this video on just a couple of honourable mentions. One I want to go on a bit more about is Rust. I know I mentioned it briefly in the C++ section, but 
I genuinely think Rust is a good language, and I think it might be the future of the gaming industry, what we use as a programming language. Um, it's just it's very similar to C++. It has a lot of the same syntax, but it's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more improved on. It does definitely have some support needed for it, but it's definitely one that you should look at. The other ones I want to mention is if you're really interested in mobile development, then I think Java is probably a half-decent language to learn, and I'd also say JavaScript. Those languages, you might think Java and JavaScript, they're probably very similar. They're not similar in the slightest. Um, They're probably quite good for web and mobile development, so if that's what you want to lean towards, then they're definitely good options. Right, so I hope that video was some form of help to you. Um, Again, C++, learn it if you want to be a game developer. If you want to just learn how to program, learn C Sharp. That's the gist of it. If you have any recommendations for any other videos you want me to make, please just drop a comment below. Um, I'm definitely open to suggestions. Uh, I've got a few things that I can still talk about on how to become a game dev, but Obviously, this is a very much of a feedback loop. Whatever you guys tell me that you want to learn is what I will do. So thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.